Oh, he's live. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are around the world. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bit of a frog in the throat. Frog in the throat. Bit of a frog in the throat. My name is Troy Dan, of course. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this very, very special announcement in the Digital Mavericks Facebook group. A very special announcement, of course, is that I'm actually Rand Fishkin, doing my best to look like Rand Fishkin, having a midlife crisis and trying to get the hair that that man has got. No, that's not the special announcement. We have a very special announcement coming up here and we're going to be announcing the winner of some prizes. And uh, this is a very big day for all of us. Uh, there might even be some champagne involved. So hang around, stay with us. Let us know in the chat where you are from, what country are you from, where are you tuning in from? I'd love to know uh, where you guys are from. And to help me make this very special announcement, <clears throat> excuse me, Hello, Mickey. Uh, to help me make this very special announcement, I've got some very special friends here to come and help me, and I'd like to welcome to the stage now uh, the three fabulous coaches, Pete Perry all the way from New York, Johnny Flash from Virginia, and Christina Hawkins from Sugarland, Texas. <laughs> hey, hey Troy, how's it going? Oh, man, it's How are you, man? Let's start, let's start with Pete. What's going on in New York, Pete? Well, it's about a thousand degrees and uh, it's bright and sunny and uh, we're looking for a thunderstorm in a couple of minutes. But other than that, it's uh, it's pretty good. Everything's wow, good. That, that sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, 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 I'm going to come back and I want to talk to each of you individually about who you are and where you're from and why you're here. Uh, for those that don't know, Johnny Flash all the way from Virginia, Virginia on the East Coast. What's, What's going, going on there, brother? Not too much, man. We're just, we have a heat wave here. So I think the kids are at the pool because it is hot. Awesome. What's the what's the temperature in Virginia right now in Fahrenheit? Uh, I mean, I guess hot is relative. For us, it's hot. It's like in the upper 90s. I think with the humidity, it's in like the low 100s Fahrenheit. But so what is that like? I guess it could be like 32, like, 33 Celsius, something like that. 30, 34. Like, yeah. Somewhere. Yeah, that's there. warm. That's warm. That's warm. And uh, Christina Hawkins from Texas, the biggest state in the world where everything is big. Uh, what's going on there, Christina? Yeah, our cars, our homes, our hair, it's just all big in Texas. Um, yeah, right now uh, it is hot here too, but I am in the middle of a thunderstorm. So it is, if you if you might hear a couple cracks of thunder going on right now. So wow. yeah, it is pouring hard. So if I lose internet connection, you'll know why. <laughs> are thunderstorms uh, uh, usual for this time of year where, where you guys are? Texas yeah. it is. This is hurricane season coming up here. So uh -huh. lots of rain, lots of weather comes through this time of year. Uh -huh. All right. Hey, look, I want to talk to each of you individually about uh, where, you, where you've come from and why you are here before we get to our big, very special announcement. So maybe let's just start off with Pete Perry. Pete, when, when, did you, um, when did you discover us and what were you looking for when you discovered us and what happened when you discovered WP Elevation? So unlike most of the people that um, I've, I've run into that, that I've coached, I had never actually heard of you before. And uh, I just stumbled upon a Facebook ad for a $1 promotion to buy the Better, flight, Better Clients Flight Plan, I think it was called. And then it upgraded me to a $37, an upsell to $37, and an upsell to $97. And next thing I knew, I was an elevator. But that was after I had been running my business for about, well, part-time since 2009. I'm sorry, since, since 1999, and then full-time since 2009. And that ad found me uh, in March of 2015 and changed everything about my business. I started, I took the blueprint. And uh, within a week of taking the blueprint, I I literally doubled the price that I was going to ask on a proposal. And an hour after I sent it, they said yes. And I said, well, that was easy. So never really looked back and uh, followed the blueprint pretty much to the letter. And then, of course, um, a couple years later, you guys reached out to uh, me and Christina and a few other people and asked us to be mentors in the WP Elevation Facebook groups, private Facebook groups. So we did that for a little while. And then you had to beg us, but we became coaches. Christina and I <laughs> became coaches in the WP Elevation space. And, and as, as we became coaches, we also started taking the uh, Mavericks program and uh, the Mavericks Club program. And I think about a year later, uh, 
you asked us to become coaches for Mavericks as well. So now Christina and I do both. And then we brought Johnny on board and and here we the are. Rest is history. Um, what, what, what's been the most rewarding thing about you as a coach here? Because, oh, of course, the big announcement, well, the big announcement here today is that we're going to fire Pete in, in the, on the, on the yeah, live stream. So what's so, been the most rewarding thing uh, so far I, in your illustrious career? So um, I, I don't know that there's been one specific thing, but I can tell you that, you know, as you can tell, I'm, I'm a man of a certain age, and uh, I've been in this industry for a long time. I started in... 88 in the software industry. And then by 99, I was doing websites part time. And then, you know, as I said, nothing compares to the reward I get when I coach somebody. Um, and when I can see the success that I've been able to help them achieve, there's nothing like that. It's the single mo other than having other than aside from my wife and children, it is the mm -hmm. single most rewarding thing in my entire life. Mm, wow. What, what, yeah. what, what, why do you think that is? What is it about? Because I get it. I, I totally get yeah. it. I have the same. So but I what, think what, it's what, about, what um, it? I think it's about having an impact, right? So mm. I got into the web. i started my freelancing and then web agency to be able to help other businesses. And I started my agency in what was here, a pretty horrible recession, 2009. And my intent was to help the local community um, economically and help small businesses and help people and help the business owners and help them live better lives and not have to worry about money and, you know, start help them through marketing. But then once I started coaching, I realized that my reach could be not just to individual businesses, but to other people who are helping other businesses. So my, my reach grows exponentially now. So if I can help a business who helps other businesses, I'm much more powerful. And it's all about power. <laughs> no, I love it. It's just much more yeah. rewarding. <laughs> well, so the thing is, you know, it sounds like it's actually quite, a, I've realized over the years, it sounds very selfless to be saying, you know, well, we just want to help other people succeed. And if you help other people succeed, then your success is guaranteed and all those cliches, which happen to be true, by the way. But for me, the it, it's actually, in some ways, it's a quite a selfish thing because the reason that I sort of pivoted away from client services into coaching is because of the gratitude that I was getting from all of our students and, and people I was mentoring and coaching. It was like a drug for me. It was like, well, yeah. you, I mean, doing client for me anyway, doing client services, you can impact that many people, right? If it, coaching the way that we're doing it in, in, in the program and the business model we've got, we can impact thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people. So the that gratitude is actually really rewarding. And so it, beca it actually Absolutely. becomes quite a selfish thing. It's like, I want to get out of bed every day and help people so they think I'm awesome. Right. Um, so um, the one thing that sticks in my mind, it's not necessarily the most rewarding thing, but it was the first time I felt that, what you were just trying to describe, um, that gratitude. And that was at one of our live events, I don't know, five years ago. Um, two, two men walked up to me who I, I didn't know not to look at them, but they knew me because I'd been on screen and, and mm. doing coaching mm. calls and stuff. And of course, once I heard their names, I knew who they were, but um, they walked up to me and they thanked me so much for all the impact that I've had on their businesses and, and everything like that. And it was like, oh, come on, you know, you guys are doing all the work. I was trying to deflect the, you know, as we're, as, as we're want to do. Um, and the one guy said, no, no, dude, you don't understand. I literally had professionally printed a sign that says, what would Pete do? And I have it over my monitor on the wall. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> and I, I will tell you that I actually got a little emotional when, I, when he said that. Like, it just choked me up. And yeah. I was like, okay, I'm a coach. That's it. Yeah. I was like, you okay. need to get out more, dude. Um, awesome. Uh, love it, love it. Hey, uh, Chris. Chris, that's what I said. Christina Hawkins from Sugarland, Texas. Now you've been around uh, since about the same time as Pete. I think you joined at a similar time to Pete. In fact, I think you were one of the first people that turned up on a video coaching call that I ran. And, that was the uh, annoying loud one. They kept asking questions. That's right. And I was like, wow, Belinda Carlisle was <laughs> in our program. It's amazing. <laughs> and uh, uh, so, so tell us, uh, tell us a little about. And it hasn't always been, um, it hasn't always been beer and skittles for you since you joined our program. Tell us a little bit about your journey since you joined our cult. I mean, our community. Yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> careful. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, similar to Pete, been doing this for a very long time. Before that, it was more hobbyish, you know. When I joined, gung ho, like, yeah, this makes sense. The templates, the how tos, it all just kind of clicked. But I think I've said this before that first year, I didn't make my money didn't really change. My revenue didn't change a whole lot. In fact, I, I lost revenue because I just started, it just took a while to get clarity and focus. And I had to backtrack a bit because the pre, pre Mavs, it was just very much, I just had the wrong clientele and my message to them wasn't very clear on who I wanted to help. So after that, after that first year, things just started to kind of click. And I think what really helped was building relationship with other elevators and where I really got to get a, a sense of what other people are doing, how that they work. So it wasn't just you, Troy. I think it was a community um, that things just started clicking for me. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's a little bit heartbreaking to hear that it wasn't just, uh, all about me. No, but, Troy, sorry. <laughs> that's okay. I can, uh, <clears throat> I can live well, with And that. one example, we had one of the live events and, uh, I think after one of those sessions, uh, myself and Stephanie Campanelli, if you remember her, mm -hmm. we, we kind of went on a sidebar and she just opened up her processes and how she does things. And it was like, oh my god this is amazing and then it was just other things like christina and you know all these others that kind of came out of came out and just kind of were so helpful just mm -hmm. really really open and transparent just really was like I, whatever they could do to help me and so for me it's since then it's just passing it on you know and, and you're, you're you're one of the organizers of the wordpress houston, houston meetup, meetup is that right mm -hmm. yep and Which I think all came out of all this too, where I was like, it was just one way to give back. And, and um, uh, what's, sorry, sorry Max, Max, I think the, the your audio might still be live, dude. I'm getting a delay. I'm getting it. Thank you very much. Max is producing here and has too many microphones open. Um, it's getting a bit of latency there. Um, and your, your, what, what's been one of the most, what's been the rewarding thing for you uh, growing into the coaching role here? Oh gosh, um, definitely the concept of teaching and educating and sharing. Um, that that it's, I've I've always felt that that was my way of giving back is just always sharing what I know, and my processes and my checklists and all that stuff. And so, you know, helping again, just kind of helping others. That's kind of what has been my my role, and just uh, you know whatever I can do to help guide. And how's business for you these days? Great, really well. <laughs> That's all I need to say about that because it's doing really well. And again, I just learned through the others in the group and the Mavs and the elevators and everybody, just you know, asking very, very, just questions. How you know, things like salary? I didn't pay myself. I didn't pay mm. myself near what I should be paying myself. And when I did that survey last year, it just kind of opened my eyes. And I hope it, hopefully it helped others understand where where everyone is in, in terms of how much do I pay myself. And I mm. wasn't paying myself enough because I just didn't value what I knew and my, the coaching and the, the type of work that I do. And so, um, yeah, when I that just that opened my eyes huge. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, thank you for sharing. And uh, finally, from Virginia, Johnny Flash, John Falk, otherwise known as Johnny Flash. Johnny, what? Um, tell us a little bit about where you were before you found us and what you were trying to do. Yeah, it was about six years ago. I was had been working at as a creative director and producer at an organization and um, was thinking about making a change, mainly because we were putting on events every weekend. And so I was missing my, my kids' uh, football games and all this, you know, weekend activity stuff. And so um, I had been doing websites on the side for a long time, but hadn't actually, um, you know, been doing it full time. And so I found WP Elevation. It was probably only two or three months after I left my day job. And it wasn't like a great time to leave my day job because uh, when you've got a mortgage and a wife and four kids and stuff, um, you know, quitting your day job when you've only got a little bit of side income is probably not the best thing to do. Uh, but that's what I did. And then I, I found WP Elevation shortly after, thankfully. 
And uh, fast forward uh, six years now, I saw recently you just cracked your one hundredth review on Google. Is that right? Yeah, we've been we've been on like a Google review journey for the last about three years. Uh, actually, it was that, that was all after two after like a WP Elevation webinar. I think Simon was running one with. Uh, Phil Singleton and I was mm -hmm. like, man, I don't have any Google reviews and I've built a lot of websites and done, I had a lot of clients. And so we just started, you know, going after him. So yeah, we just hit a uh, hundred reviews, which was a pretty cool milestone for us. But I think more importantly, even like with WP Elevation and Mavericks and everything, it's, you know, when I left my day job, I had no recurring revenue at all. Mm. And um, I quickly realized about you know, four months in that I needed to figure that out because I, I didn't want to have to be just chasing project after project. And so um, have really worked over the last four or five years to kind of build that up to the point where it's like now more than our project revenue and paying all of our team expenses and tools and my salary and everything just off the recurring revenue. And then we, we do a lot of projects too. So um, have really built the team and kind of the systems out. Thanks, you know, largely in part to, thank you, WP Elevation and uh, Mavericks. Awesome. And um, where did that sound effect come from? <laughs> it wasn't in here. I thought Max it was one of my kids sound effects too. Like, Remind me to take Max's you know. soundboard off him. <laughs> nice. um, how many on the team now? How many on the team these days? Uh, there, so my wife and I run the business together and then we have seven team members besides uh, the two of us, wow. so there's nine of us. That's yeah. awesome. Well done, brother. Um, cool, cool. All right. So uh, we do have a very special announcement to make. Um, before we get there, we are going to announce the winner of our prize. Of course, we hit 10,000 members in the Facebook group this week, in the Digital Mavericks Facebook group, which is a massive effort um, spearheaded by our very own Emily Bryant from New Zealand, who works with us full time now and uh, has, again, been through the blueprint, almost joined Mavericks, um, had a baby instead, and then decided to uh, come work with us. Um, so that's been a great journey and she's really spearheaded that growth of this group and we're over 10,000 members. We ran a competition, uh, a little giveaway earlier this week and we had uh, quite a few people. Um, here we go. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm just getting some feedback from the team here. Listen, I'm just listening to what the producers in my ear. Okay. Yes, very good. Excellent. Uh, we had uh, quite a few people leave comments <clears throat> and, um, and apply to uh, win a copy of ATC Jumpstart. <clears throat> the five finalists, <clears throat> excuse me, the five finalists who made it, I announced last night, uh, David Lanigan, Oton Martins, Darlington Okafor, Maria Taman and Tracy Devonold. <clears throat> and we have run our special algorithms here in the background. That was supposed to be a drum roll, sorry. Uh, I need a drum roll sound effect. Uh, we run our special algorithms in the background and we chose a winner. And the winner, I'm getting notification here from the team, the winner of the Agency Jumpstart package is Darlington Okafor. <laughs> Woohoo! <clears throat> Uh, so Darlington Okafor, when you watch this replay, what you need to do is get into our Facebook Messenger page, the WP Elevation page, Facebook page, go to the messenger, leave us a message with your email address and your details and uh, Emily or Michelle or someone will pick up that conversation and get you access to the agency jumpstart package. Now the uh, the other four finalists who I'll repeat your names here, uh, David Lanigan, Oton Martins, Maria Taman and Tracy Devonold. You also need to get into the um, message here uh the, the our messenger i don't even know see i don't even know what i'm talking about right now you need to get into facebook ring up zuckerberg and ask him for the bonus prize that we're giving away i think emily's going to leave a comment here um under the live stream uh you basically need to get here yeah, please send a message via our, our our facebook page and we'll get in touch and uh and you guys also pick up a um a, a nice bonus prize so just repeating those names david lanigan uh, Oton Martins, Maria Taman, and Tracy Devonold all pick up a bonus prize, and Darlington Okafor wins agency jumpstart. Well done! All right, now <clears throat> very special announcement. Uh, this is probably the worst kept secret in history. And um, are we ready to do this? Are we ready to Are we ready to pull the band aid off and and reveal what what's are we ready to do this? Yeah. Do we, it. Do, do it, it. Do it. Do it. All right. Uh, so the big announcement, of course, is that uh, as of now, well, actually, as of about eight o'clock last night, Australian time, we've changed our name. That's right. We've changed our name. We are no longer called WP Elevation. We are now called 
Drupal Elevation. That's right. <laughs> Drupal <laughs> Elevation. Oh, sorry. We're called Agency Mavericks. We have changed our name from <laughs> WP Elevation to Agency Mavericks. And I would like to ask uh, Christina, why have you done this, Christina? Why did you make us change our name from WP Elevation? Oh my to God. Just got like, oh my God. You just told me. From- <laughs> My favourite oh, thing to do God. is to throw my friends under the bus. Well, so, okay. So we have. If you have uh, any compla- let- if you have any complaints about the name change, just email Christina at agencymavericks.com. Oh, my and- yeah. That's right. Exactly. Right. <laughs> exactly. Um, so so we are now Agency Mavericks, and uh, I'll, I'll give you. <laughs> that's right. Peter Freeman, who's one of our Mavericks members, says Dreamweaver Elevation. <laughs> Oh, oh man, says Wix Elevation. Yeah, Wix we should elevation, have done that. Yeah. We should we should have done that as a joke. Um, so the reason we've changed our name, we we've written a blog post about this. We made a little video, uh, but the reason we've changed our name is because when we started this thing back in 2013, it came out of I was coming out of WordCamp after WordCamp after WordCamp, hearing the same conversation, which is, "Well, that's great. I know how to use BuddyPress." again but where's the business stuff where's the business track at a word camp like there's nothing here for helping us grow our business and so in 2013 uh i, I came out of a word camp in melbourne i'm like damn it i'm gonna do this like no one's doing this i'm gonna do it i'm gonna become that guy i'm gonna become the business coach for wordpress freelancers and it really was this i mean do you remember the 2012 13 14 15 wave of wordpress that just absolutely boomed yes. it went from like powering 10 percent of internet to 30 percent. there were plugins being launched every day of the week it just was this massive explosion of enthusiasm for this open source uh, blogging platform, which became a full-blown content management system and e-commerce platform. And so it started out as a group of people who were really passionate about the technology, trying to figure out how to be business owners. But over the years, what's happened is we've grown into a community. And for me anyway, it, it just made sense to, uh, to champion the community because it's more about the people in the community now than it is the technology. Now, we all still use WordPress. We love WordPress. It's still a big part of our life and and it's a fantastic tool and we're not taking anything away from that. And we're still huge fans. But what we really wanted to do was just officially say, hey, we are a community organization. Now, we get a a lot of people emailing us thinking that we teach them how to use WordPress to build websites. So that was something that was a bit of confusion that we needed to clear up. Um, And also we have agencies that don't build websites. We have branding agencies, SEO agencies, ad agencies, who, who, you know, still might use WordPress if they need to, but it's not their core focus. So really making the name of our company, we've actually changed the name of the company to Agency Mavericks uh, and the brand uh, from WP Elevation to Agency Mavericks is our way of, uh, of really championing the community and saying, you know, we are a bunch of square pegs and round holes. Um, the, the community is what it's all about and uh, we are Maverick. What I'd love to hear from you guys is what, like, what is a Maverick as far as you're concerned? Johnny. A Maverick, I think, Maverick? Is, I, I think Maverick, well, I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't preface, I didn't prepare for this by looking up the, uh, the definition, but I mean, when I think of Maverick, I think of someone who's really good at something, you know, some, someone that's really, uh, honed their craft and is kind of at the top of their game. So that's, that's what I think of when I think of Maverick. Pete, what do you, uh, how do you define a Maverick? So you ready for story time with uncle Pete? Yeah, I absolutely. You, I tell you where, where the word maverick comes from. <laughs> Story time with Uncle Pete. So back in the 1800s, early 1800s, there was a lawyer in Texas whose name was Samuel Maverick. And uh, he, most of his clients, of course, were ranchers because that was pretty much all there was in Texas back then. Now it's just oil. But um one of these ranchers owed him $1,200, which was quite the sum back in 1820 or whenever this was. And uh, so he settled that debt with 400 head of cattle. And Sam, being a lawyer and not a rancher, didn't really know what to do with these 400 head of cattle. So he didn't have a fence. He didn't have any fencing on his acreage. And he didn't have a brand to brand them. So the cattle just kind of went where they wanted to go and they did what they wanted to do. And they kind of took over the neighborhood and um, over, over time, other ranchers saw the 
mar- the cattle and just kind of started stealing them. So Sam had to rein that in. But the fir- the term got coined that someone, or specifically a cattle, that was um, blazing its own path and doing its own thing and couldn't be branded, that was a maverick. So uh, that's where it. the word maverick came from. <clears throat> So we're all we're all wandering cows, a little bit lost, just wandering Pretty around much. the streets. Well, I like to think of it as we're all setting our own path. Excellent, love it, uh, Christina. What does what does Maverick mean to you? You're muted, honey. We can't hear you. I... Oh, there we yeah, go. There you go. Back. Okay, somehow I'm yeah. okay. Um, okay. Maverick. So. My husband was, we were part of uh, an actual Marine squadron. The, uh, my husband flew AV8 A's and B's. So wow. um, we were, I was always for 20 years, I was on different Marine bases uh, hearing the sound of, of jets flying over. And my husband and all of his pilot friends on Friday nights are standing in the middle of, of what, you know, what we call the officer's club with cigars and drinks in their hand. And they are, they're, they're showing each other their flight class. I mean, that was it for two hours. These guys with their cigars were just, you know, yeah, and then I came around this one, you know, and it was, you know, the way these guys talk with their flight suits on. And to them, Mavericks are folks that just, and I believe this as well, again, just taking taking initiative and um, and I guess in the, in the Marine concept of adapting, um, you know, always adapting, always changing, but always taking that path to get from point A to point B, whether the path is a straight line or the path is a, a loop de loop over and around and, and down again. But you always got from point A to point B. During that time, you planned, you created, you um, you know there was a lot of planning in order before you got into the cockpit. Mm-hmm. And while you're in the cockpit, there was a lot of communication between yourself. And other pilots in the air, there was communication with you people on the ground, and they all got together to get you from point A to point B. It just as long as you got to point B and got the mission done and got home safe and alive. Um, so, in my mind, a maverick is is that is that type of person that is planning but always adapting to the changes that are inevitably on its way. So, you know, um, yeah, that's my mind of a maverick. Love it. Um, so it might be worth uh, just reading out the official definition of Maverick, according to dictionary.com, which is an unorthodox or independent minded person, uh, similar to individualist, nonconformist, or free spirit. So, uh, and also an unbranded calf or yearling. There you go. Uh, thanks to Pete's story. Uh, so, um, Maverick, Maverick to me is uh, is someone who charts their own course, finds their own way through the woods. Uh, you know, doesn't doesn't conform to what everyone else is doing. Zigs when everyone else is zagging. But also someone who, uh, you know, I think so- something that's misunderstood about a Maverick is that, that you, you might think a Maverick is cocky or a little bit arrogant. And I think top, uh, Tom Cruise's portrayal of of Maverick in the original Top Gun film. Which, by the way, he was 23 when he made that film. Go watch that film now and realise that kid's 23 years old when he when he performed that role. It's outstanding. Um, and uh, so I, I think the the misconception is that Mavericks are not arrogant or cocky. They're super confident because they know they're good. They have this quiet confidence about them. Actually, it's not that quiet. They have this confidence about them because they know they're good and they're doing their own thing and they're individual and they're creative, free thinking, but they're not cocky. They just happen to know that they're actually quite skilled at what they do. Uh, so what I wanted to do also was just touch on a couple of the, uh, some of the stories that we've heard over the years from our community. Now, without naming names, um, th- this will just highlight and kind of put into context why me personally, I thought it was really important to change our name to champion our community. One of the, when I first started this, right, my perception was that I'm going to have a bunch of dudes that kind of look like me, are kind of my age, come in, we're all building kind of freelance web businesses and we're all kind of super cool and hip and groovy and drink cold brewed coffee and ride those weird bikes with no gears and uh, which I don't do any of that, by the way, and uh, that, you know, that's who we were going to be. It was like, you know, I'd been out to San Francisco and I was like, yeah, we're all going to be like cool startup dudes. Um, and while there were a couple of them, uh, the majority of our audience looked and sounded nothing like I imagined. It's a real cornucopia. It's a real mixed bag 
of uh, of people. We have this incredibly high percentage of work from home parents, particularly work from home mums. I mean, Christina is a work from home mum. Uh, we have a lot of work from home mums uh, who have come into our uh, our world, built their business, and then retired their husband. And the husband now works in the business with them full time. Chris and Amber Hines, who, who recently joined Mavericks, is one example I'm thinking of. Uh, uh, Chris was working uh, in in restaurants, I think, at night when Amber was running the business from home, and eventually uh, the business just took off. And he now works from home full time, and they run the business. They they travel around when when they're allowed to in their RV, and they uh, you know run the business from their laptops. There's plenty of those stories, and I never saw that coming. Um, the other thing I didn't see coming is I can count on more than one hand, more than a handful of of women who came into our community to build up their business to become financially independent from their husbands because they were in toxic relationships. I have had more than a handful of women email me and say, thank you, I've left my husband, I don't need him anymore, I'm financially independent, I have my own business and it's because of what I learned in, in your um, community, which is which blows my mind. I never saw that coming, had never planned for it at all. But I think the the one commonality that we all have is that we, and correct me if I'm wrong, guys, and if you do correct me, I'll kick you off the live stream, uh, that we feel like we're unemployable, right? We just, I mean, we just can't go work for someone. This is, we just need to be in charge of the bus. Is that how you guys feel? Sure. I can never, I can yeah. never go back to an office. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no way. I did for a bit. I for a while I would go for an hour a week with a client and that 40 minute drive was like I can't do this every day. There's just no way, you know. So, no. P Peter Freeman has just checked to see if his wife has joined Mavericks. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> funny and a little disturbing. Um, so, hey, we'd love to hear from you guys in the in the in the comments. You guys watching and and listening. Uh, tell us honestly. Tell us uh, how you feel about being a part of this community. Tell us what the word Maverick means to you. Uh, tell us what you think of the name change. It's kind of too late if you don't like it. We're stuck with it now. Um, go check out the new website. Uh, WP everything from WP Elevation they are now should just forward to agencymavericks.com. If you find anything, by the way, on the website that doesn't look right, any broken links, any anything a bit funky, let us know. Please email support. Uh, this is what it looks like here across the uh, the social um, platforms and uh, different devices. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just making words up now. Um, that's uh, what it looks like. And I also just want to give a huge shout out. Do we have a picture of our team here somewhere, Max? I want to give a huge, huge shout out. Can we just freeze that for a second? I want to give a huge shout out. We probably can't. Massive, massive shout out to our entire team there. Look, all beautiful, 15 of them. I think the only one that's missing is is Kat, who also played a huge role in um, in bringing our website to life. Uh, Jay, Rio, uh, George, uh, our developers, who have done an amazing job bringing the new website to life. Uh, Charmaine, Michelle, Dioza, and Jeliza, who have been working over the weekend to bring all the content over to the new members' website. Um, Max, I think, did something. I can't remember what. Um, Maddie, um, uh, <laughs> he's just shaking his head. Max just comes to work, so I hang shit on him. <clears throat> we know that. Uh, Emily, uh, Eva, uh, the coaches, everyone's done an amazing job on this uh, on this new project. And I really haven't been involved. I mean, I had to make one video for the rebrand. Uh, that was my involvement. I, uh, other than that, wasn't involved, which is testament to the fact that the team here are doing an amazing job, but also the team understand the vision of what we're trying to achieve and everyone's moving in the right direction. So that's very encouraging. And Laura, who has just joined us as our growth navigator, um, which brings me to if you uh, another thing that we're doing to celebrate our, our rebrand here is uh, we're ready to cut deals, man. We are in deal mode. We are ready to do deals with you. So if you are interested in getting a hold of any of our training, uh, whether it's our courses or our coaching programs if you want to hang out with us and you want to uh, you want us to help you grow your agency now is a really good time to jump into our chat and have a conversation with our team we do have some great deals that we're running you need to jump on a call with our team to find out what they are because we want to make sure that you're a good fit 
We want to make sure that we can actually help you. We're on a mission to collect testimonials. Johnny has raised the bar by collecting uh, all these reviews on Google. So uh, he's laid down the gauntlet and we're on a mission to collect case studies and testimonials. So we want to make sure we're a good fit to work with you. So jump into our Facebook page, have a chat with our team, uh, get booked in to have a chat with uh, one of our team on a call and then we'll see if we're a good fit and we will point you in the right direction and we will cut a deal with you to uh, get you some of our training, uh, some of our courses or some of our coaching. Um, any stories from you guys uh, that you didn't see coming or any stories from the community that you want to share about people who have who who fit the the kind of the description of a maverick well i think that i think we've seen um quite a few people like you mentioned uh the heinz do this but but we've seen a handful of people who literally travel um you know we've helped them set up their business so that they can travel around the world or whatever and, and run their business we've seen I can't even imagine how many people who have started their freelancing as a part-time gig and we've helped them move from from that to running an agency. We've seen people who joined Mavericks making a certain amount of money and now they've five to ten X to that, right? And and just in a couple of years. So just the it, it, it just all is because we're all Mavericks, every, everybody's path is a little bit different and everybody's goals are different. And there's nothing like seeing those goals achieved. The ones, you know, we, the, the Simmonses, Robert and uh, I forget her name. I know Alyssa. I forget her name. Alyssa, Alyssa. Yeah. Simmons, who wanted to run their business to the point where they could sell their house and live at Disney World for a year. And they did that and it changed their lives. So. Um, yeah, it's just so many success stories. It's, it's unbelievable. It has been, uh, I think you touched on an interesting point there too, um, that, you know, we, we get some people come into our world who don't want to grow a massive team, don't want that responsibility. Right. They just want to grow a lifestyle business. They just want to get it to three or 400 grand a year, make a lot of profit, have a couple of team members helping them. And they don't want to grow any bigger than that. And that's totally fine. It's not our job to tell you what your business needs to look like. It's our job to help you build the business that you want to build. Um, Simon Kelly's uh, uh, left a comment said, hey, wow, congrats. The team looks absolutely amazing and the mission is clear. Excellent. That's very good to hear. Thank you. Security's pretty slack around here, aren't they? Letting Simon yeah, yeah, yeah. The I have, to, I have, to, uh, do, have to do something about that. Um, uh, the other, and, and I guess one of the, the other things that, um, the other, the other thing that's happened in this community that I didn't realise and didn't see coming is there are lots of family-based businesses in our community. There's lots of husband and wife teams. Uh, Simon and Carolyn Major, uh, two of our Mavericks, uh, c come to mind. They've got a team of, I think, 11 or 12 now. They're based here in Melbourne, um, doing you know exceptionally well. Uh, they actually came down and met me in the office here before they joined Mavericks Club. I've got a personal soft spot for uh, for family-based businesses, because I think it's a great, I mean, Johnny, you're, you're one example as well. I think it's a great, if you can manage to work together with your partner, it means you get to spend a lot of time with them, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, I think there's, obviously you've got to have your boundaries so that, um, you know, work is work and all the other stuff, family and everything is, you know, you've got those boundaries defined, but I think, uh, when it works, it works really, can work really, really well. So, at least that's what we found. Now I've got my kids even getting involved too. So it's a, it's a whole family affair. <laughs> I've been trying to get my wife to come work in this business for the last uh, five years. And she says, we can work together or we can stay married. You choose. And so at the moment <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm choosing the marriage. Um, Andrew Downey says, I'd even employ the wife if those numbers were likely. Fantastic. That's my goal, says Michael Scott, a family-based business that my, that my girls can take over. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, Hey, what, what is your, what is there, is there's one thing that you can tell yourself when you were first starting out, like let's wind back, you know, six, seven, eight years. Um, if there was one thing that you guys could tell yourself, one bit of advice you could give yourself that would maybe help you avoid some mistakes or maybe help you fast track your results or manage your anxiety or whatever, what, what would that one thing be? Christina, let's start with you. I'll just throw you on the, on the put, put you on the spot. What was that one thing that what? If there's one thing you could tell yourself 10 years ago that would have helped you with, with your business, either helped you grow faster or, or avoid some mistakes, what would that one bit of advice be? Choose the clients wisely. <laughs> Try, make sure that you know 
I think definitely making sure that I know what kind of clients I really want to work with. And, and the second is it's okay to fire them. It's okay to let go of clients that don't mesh with you, that take too much of your time, that, you know, just don't feel that you can do your best with. Good advice. Uh, Pete Perry. Uh, I would say that two things. So one is that you have to have cash flow to be a business. Otherwise, you're just a freelancer and you're hanging on by your fingernails. Um, and that cash flow, of course, comes from steady, predictable, recurring revenue, monthly recurring revenue. Um, and then the other thing is to surround yourself with an amazing community. Don't be don't be the lone the lone wolf out there trying to do everything on your own because it doesn't work that way. Um, the 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 more uh, abundant your mindset, um, you the more success you will see, and the more you can give, and the more you will get. Hundred uh, percent. If someone told me to join a community when I first started out, I, there's I just would have run a mile. In fact, I think there were a couple of you know, like even BNI or a couple of those things. When I first started out, I was just like, I was not going anywhere near them. I was not interested at all. And what I realize now is it because I wasn't confident to present myself in a situation like that. I had a lot of insecurities about my own abilities. I had massive imposter syndrome. I had social anxiety. I just couldn't turn up into a room like that and be authentic and be confident and add value. Um, and eventually when I, when I've got a couple of projects under my belt and I got my confidence up and I started to think, God, right, I'm going to put myself out there as a web designer. And I started getting into those rooms, then the floodgates opened and I was like, oh my God, I just want to do this all the time now. I just want to hang around with other creative people and, and network. Uh, Johnny Flash, what would you tell a younger version of yourself? Man, I had so much anxiety leaving my day job that uh, like I probably wrestled with it for a few years because it's just like, you know, that normal paycheck and everything. And so I think I would tell myself to like just get started now. Don't put it off because um, it, it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be and start building the recurring revenue now. And I think the third thing I would say is don't feel like you have to be everyone's solution. Uh, do what you do best and, and don't be afraid to turn stuff down. That's not a good fit. Awesome. Um, uh, thank you guys for sharing. Hey, Cliff Almeida from my web audits just left a comment here. It says, Troy and team, love the site and branding. I've been blessed to have, have my agency transformed with your course content. The friendships with the mentors and so many of my peers in the community have been priceless. Excited to see what's next and looking forward to the next in-person event. So are we. We're definitely looking forward to traveling again once mm -hmm. we're allowed to once the travel restrictions uh, have, have settled down. Hey, I just want to also announce a couple of things coming up in this group over the next few weeks. We've got some awesome live streams coming up. Um, we have uh, Johnny, is it, are you hosting the live stream with Cliff? Is that right? Yep, July 12th, I think it's Monday. Awesome. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how you use my web audit in your agency? Oh man, we use my web audit uh, for two things primarily, but there's so many things that you can use it for, but um, as to when we're considering bringing on clients that uh, want support for their WordPress website, we use it as kind of an evaluation audit tool um, before they come onto a care plan. And then we also use it as a positioning tool um, when we're talking to clients about like a redesign. It makes us look like we're the most informed, most uh, professional, you know, web designers around because of how thorough it is. So looking forward to uh, getting to hang with Cliff on July 12th and, and he's going to unpack his sales framework and how you can use the audits to close more deals. Uh, and it's, it's, it'll be fantastic. Cliff always adds so much value. Awesome. Uh, we've got a bunch of live streams coming up in July. Uh, Christina Hawkins and I are hosting one with Dr. Sherry Walling on the 7th of July, I think it is, uh, Australian so. time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the 6th for US 7th here in Australia. Yep. Dr. Sherry Walling, of course, is um, a clinical psychologist. She spoke at our event in Santa Monica in the state. She specializes in helping entrepreneurs uh, with uh, mental health. She's also happens to be the wife of Rob Walling, who of course um, started and sold Drip um, and is just an amazing entrepreneur. Sherry is awesome. She's so good. She's such good value. She's going to come in and talk to us about the post-pandemic mindset and what's happening now. And I've seen it happen here in Australia. Everyone came out of COVID 
kind of opened up, went back to work and just went so hard for like three months, just worked their face off. And now there's a, quite a few people who are facing burnout because we've just all come back to work and just completely put our foot on the pedal. So Sherry's going to come in and talk to us about the post-pandemic mindset. Uh, and also I, on the 7th, and then I think on the 17th or the 15th, uh, I'm hosting Rand Fishkin to come in and talk to us about his new uh, startup, Spark Toro. And I'm going to do my best. It, that's the 15th of July hour, uh, in Australia. I'm going to do my best to get my hair as high as I possibly can for that live stream because that man has the best good. hair. Yeah. On the planet, he's got the best. I thought the he was going to do a session on hair for 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 us. But. Well, Rand and I might just come in and talk about how we get to how we get height in our hair. So um, that's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, so make sure you bookmark and and um, RSVP. We'll be promoting those events in the group. Uh, make sure you. Um, uh, you bookmark those and, and save those uh, so you get reminded of when we go live. Um, cool. Hey, I'm conscious of everyone's time. We've been here for about 45 minutes. I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys on this call, uh, Johnny, Christina and Pete for being amazing coaches and being such an integral part of our team. It's been super rewarding to grow this business and uh, have people join the team and join the vision. And I think we mentioned this a couple of times now, the last couple of events that we've run for Mavericks Club members uh, the, the virtual events that we've run, I mean, I basically have been redundant. People tell me to turn up and host a couple of sessions, but that whole thing can basically run without me now, which is amazing. I mean, I could probably disappear for a couple of months and no one would really notice I was gone. Um, so I feel like the business is in really good shape. Uh, we've got a great future ahead of us. I think now is a great time to be in the agency business as we come out of the pandemic. So many businesses are realising that you know, a pandemic is a thing and could happen again. In Australia here, we've got five, uh, four states or five states that have gone back into snap lockdowns because of the Delta variant, which is highly, highly virulent. Uh, we're also doing a really bad job at getting everyone vaccinated. So, um, you know, we're, we've got five states here have gone back into lockdown. People realise that it is a threat. And also that the, the, the internet usage has gone up by over 70% during the pandemic. People are buying stuff online. So if you're not online, you, you're basically not competing these days. I think it's a great time to be in the agency model because of that demand and because of those parameters. Um, and we're here to help all agencies grow uh, through the work that we're doing here at what is now called Agency Maverick. So Thank you to you guys. Thank you to the entire team here. Thanks to Max for uh, for being an awesome um, dude for me to hang shit on when I get bored. And also for uh, doing all the live switching and making our live streams look amazing. He's done an incredible job here. Um, and also a big shout out to my friend John from Analog WP, who is responsible for our new look. He redesigned our website uh, months ago when it was still WP Elevation. And he's given us a whole bunch of assets and brand stuff here now that uh, Max and Kat and Emily and everyone have been using to continue to build uh, our brand. So I'm really happy with everything. I'm happy with the way it looks. I'm happy with the way everything's going and can't wait to just do this on a, a bigger scale and continue to serve our agency customers. Anything you guys want to say? Any, any parting thoughts you've got? Uh, just that we are still allowed to say go elevate. I saw that question go by. <laughs> So, yeah, we it's will okay. still say go elevate because that's what it's all about. We still want to yeah. elevate you and your businesses. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. Um, all right. So jump into our chat, jump into our Facebook Messenger uh, page. Uh, it's now at the moment called WP Elevation Mavericks. We are merging that and the Agency Mavericks Facebook page. There's a whole process that you need to go through to make that happen. Uh, and so um, – that's why we're currently called WP Elevation Mavericks on Facebook because over time they will allow us to actually merge that and it will just be called Agency Mavericks. I do have a bottle of champagne. I've got a bottle of uh, Verve Clicquot in the fridge, which I'm going to crack after lunch. It's a bit early. It's not quite 8 o'clock in the morning here, so it's a bit early for me to crack champagne, but I will be having a drink a little bit later on to celebrate. Love you guys. Thanks for being a part of it, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you here again in the group and in our coaching programs and on coaching calls. Uh, until then... Go, Go elevate. elevate. Go elevate. <laughs>